Hey YouTube, Eagle Run 2 3 here for Eagle Reloads. Let's uh, zero this out. And since I moved it, I guess I'll go ahead and calibrate. Okay, everything looks great there. Okay, so I have a curiosity, and we're going to use our scale to do this. I have been, uh, you guys know I'm new to reloading, so I found just a lot of really interesting things. And this just came in for the 6.5 Creedmoor from Patriot Valley Arms, PVA, I think is what they call it. But there is a guy who I met on Facebook, and he actually owns this company, and apparently his process to make these he has a patent on or something couldn't resist I had to check these things out so 45 bucks gets you 50 projectiles and these are 264 65 millimeter 124 grains and I'm just curious what sort of consistency in weight here do we have so again, they're advertised as 124. Okay, so these weigh, that one's 120. 120.4. 120.4. 120.5. How many should I do? 10? 120. 120.3 120.3 120.3 120.4 uh, I might have to weigh all these. Especially since they're supposed to be 124 grain. Yeah, 124 grain. So again, these are the Seneca copper, solid copper composite, no, competition. Seneca copper solid competition projectile. And they're advertised at 124. Okay. Okay, so I was only going to weigh 10 of them, but I was just worried that one of them was going to weigh 124, but they are all really consistent, 120.4 grains. So it was a one or two that was 0.3 and one or two that was 0.5. Oh, that one jumped to 0.5. Maybe just when I waved my hand over it. Okay, that one really is 0.5. So, I don't know is is that is that typical for you know a custom or a custom bullet like this? Should that should they say they're 124s and they be 120s? Doesn't seem right to me. So I might not shoot those through the Creed more. I might wait and shoot those through the Grendel when that's ready. So now that I know that, what does a 205 grain bullet
So I guess that this, I mean, we're talking about a variance of 0.5 grain from the high to the low here. I don't, I guess I don't think that's a problem, but I guess I kind of thought that it would be a little bit better than that. Let's see, let's see what the old Barnes guys are doing here. So this is a Barnes TSX 210 grain bullet. We'll just test a couple of these. These are just a smidge over. Makes me wonder if those PVA ones are mislabeled. They're all just barely over 210. Yeah, all those are 210.3. Okay, what about the Barnes burner matches? These are these are what we've been running as a competition grade bullet. They're supposed to be 140 grain, which is what our Creedmoor likes. 140.3. 140 on the dot. So those are all real close to 140. 140 on the dot. Point one. Okay. If Barnes is able to do it, hammer's a little bit off. PVA is way off. I mean, they're consistent. I wonder if they're just mislabeled. Let's see what the old ELD match. We've also been using these as a competition grade. So considering that these are match bullets, I would imagine that they would be really consistent since they are sold and marketed so far we've done three we got two 99s so we got two 9.8s and two 9.9s let's do a couple more of these and kind of have a sample so two or three nine eights and two or three nine nines I mean, those appear to be really consistent. I've got two different batches. There's, there's two bags, different bags of 100. I'm not going to test the other one. Hmm. I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? Has anyone shot Seneca bullets? Do you think these are just mislabeled? Uh, should I reach out to them? I think I will since I'm, I think I'm Facebook friends with that guy now. Um, I don't know. Let me have your thoughts on that. So I know that this scale is not the end all be all scale, but it was, it did show us that there was consistency to be had. Um, even these bullets were consistent. They were just uh, in four entire grains to, to light. So I don't know. Let me actually think about that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to get back to work here. You go run two, three. We'll see you next time.